Hey guys, Weezy here, back with another review. Today we're going to be looking at the Soku X Pengu Pad. We're going to be getting in the dimensions, the durability, the slow spots, the stitching, the base, and just the overall performance of the pad. Also, Soku did send this out for review, so thank you Soku for sending it out. But that does not change my thoughts, my opinions, or anything on that, on this pad. So, let's get right into it. All right, so first let's talk about the packaging and what comes with it. You obviously get the mouse pad. You get the box. Nothing crazy. Very simple. Very nice design. The dimensions of the pad. And it's a control pad. You do also get a card and also signed by him, which is very cool. Nice little touch. Been noticing Postar has been doing things like this too, so nice to see other companies do it as well. And that's all with the packaging. So now let's get into the dimensions. This pad is 480 by 400, 3.5 millimeters thick, with a premium anti-slip base. The base is really good. As you guys can tell right now, I am pushing this pad hard as I can. And you guys can tell by my monitor moving, this, this isn't going anywhere. So wherever you place it on your pad, wherever you pay... Wherever you place this on your desk, it's it's not going anywhere. A hard swipe, not moving it. You getting upset and smashing the desk, ain't going anywhere. So now we're going to get into the availability and pricing of this pad. On Soku.gg's website, this is $30 overall. Same exact pad. For Max Gaming, $21.99. It is on sale. And for Lethal Gaming, it is $34.99. So you do have an option to purchase it in multiple, multiple websites. So if you're interested in the pad, these are your websites. They will be linked below. So now let's talk about the skates I used for this pad. I did use two pairs of Super Glides, Super Glide 2s for the Zowie EC2, for the X2, X2H, Pulsar's X2H, and the X2V2 with core pads. So I did use a lot of different skates for this pad because this is a control pad overall. So it's a bit on the slower end and I prefer it to be faster. So with faster mouse skates, this pad was very enjoyable for me. It didn't have any problems, didn't get any slow spots for me using it for these past three weeks with multiple mouse, with multiple mice. And there has been no really bad complaint about this pad especially with the performance of it staying consistent using it in multiple different cli different climates of a room and things like that so the humidity the coldness the heat hasn't really changed the way this pad performs so i could i am going to give it ichigo certification but I personally will give the Ichigo certification to all Soku products. Soku is a very good brand. They're a very good company, especially the people who run it, the people who are behind it and support it. You can't really go wrong with their products, especially because they're so they're so limited. You just want them and they always have nice designs. Sorry, just a little rant. Back to the performance. At the same time, back to performance, there is no slow spots anywhere on this pad at all. So don't expect for you to be using it for a week or two and it slowing down on the top left. It's slowing down on the bottom, especially down here in this area. That's what usually happens to control pads like uh, GSRs, GSR SEs, Deep Blues, things like along those lines who always get those random slow spots. This pad doesn't do that. Their old pad, this first one, as you can see here, their X1, yeah, that one has some slow spots, but this was like two years ago. So my overall thoughts on this pad, very good control pad, very stable, very nice. No really complaints on it at all, genuinely. Very good, decent price, 35 bucks, can't beat it. Good company, good player. Can't really hate the product for the price. So no really bad thoughts, no anything negative to say about the pad overall. 
And that is all for today's review on the Soku X Pengu Pad. If you guys have any comments or any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And if you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why you didn't like it in the comments below. I'll have all my social links in the description below and all the links to purchase the pad in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.